As one of the biggest cruise ports in the world, Port Canaveral, Florida hosts ships from a variety of cruise lines. Serving as an embarkation port, as well as a port of call on some Bahama cruises, odds are, if you like to cruise, you'll probably find yourself stopping at Port Canaveral at some time in the near future. To help you make the most of your time ashore, we've put together this look at the best things to do near Port Canaveral, Florida, up next. Welcome aboard, cruisers. I'm DB from Eat Sleep Cruise, where we help you see the world one port at a time. And whether you're spending a few days pre-cruise or just visiting for the day, there's a lot of things to enjoy near the Port Canaveral Cruise Port. We actually just spent several days pre-cruise checking out several of the popular attractions and are here to share all the details with you. Before we dive in, we'd like to thank our sponsor for this video, Florida Space Coast. Of course, if you have any questions at all about cruising or about Port Canaveral specifically, please leave them in the comment section below and we'll be happy to answer them. Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex is perhaps the most popular attraction near Port Canaveral. Admission to this active spaceflight facility includes a variety of exhibits and interactive attractions that are fun and educational for all age groups. The Behind the Gates bus tour includes a narrated tour of historic launch sites and operational space facilities. It also includes a visit to the Apollo Saturn V Center, featuring an actual Saturn moon rocket and real moon rocks along with other Apollo program artifacts. In the Hero and Legend Zone, you can explore the US Astronaut Hall of Fame. There's also the new Gateway exhibit, which brings the future of space travel to life. Further, you can visit the permanent home of the Space Shuttle Atlantis and walk among the giant rockets from NASA's Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo programs in the Rocket Garden. Other highlights include shuttle launch experience, 3D space films in an IMAX theater, and so much more. To enjoy everything Kennedy Space Center has to offer, plan on spending a full day there. In downtown Titusville, there's also the American Space Museum. Inside the museum's galleries, you'll find items that have been donated by astronauts, space workers, NASA, and more in an effort to preserve the history of the United States space program and to honor the astronauts and aerospace innovators. Some of the galleries include Mercury and Gemini, Apollo Space Shuttle, and the Women of Space exhibits. You'll also see actual Space Shuttle Launch Control Center consoles, an Air Force Launch Pad 36A console, and the Pad 16 Launch Sequencer. You can tour the museum self-guided or book a guided tour as available. Following the museum visit, you can enjoy a stroll down the nearby Space Walk of Fame in the Space View Park. Another popular excursion in Florida is an airboat ride that set out in search of the wildlife lurking within. While many cruisers are probably aware of airboat tours near Port Everglades in Fort Lauderdale, there are also similar tours offered near the Port Canaveral cruise port. For instance, located about a half hour away from the cruise port, airboat rides at Midway offer one hour tours on the St. Johns River, sometimes referred to as the Central Florida Everglades. On this adventure, you'll glide through the grassy wetlands at speeds of up to 45 miles per hour. Prepare to see wildlife up close and personal as you'll be treated to appearances by alligators, various types of birds, and other creatures. During the ride, your guide will provide narration and answer any questions. After the airboat ride, you can interact with the animals on the property, including baby alligators. If you want to set off in search of more wildlife while in the area, a visit to the Merritt Island National Wildlife Refuge should also make your list of things to do. This 140,000 acre U.S. National Park was established in 1963 in agreement with NASA and the Kennedy Space Center. It is home to more than 1,500 species of plants and animals. Further, 15 federally listed threatened and endangered species call this refuge home. At Merritt Island Wildlife Refuge, there are a number of walking paths and hiking trails that are perfect for bird watching and photography. There's also the Black Point 7 Mile Wildlife Drive and the Manatee Observation Deck that are perfect for wildlife sightings as well. If you prefer to leave the planning to someone else, Canaveral Tours offers organized tours in the refuge. The company has knowledgeable tour guides, customizable itineraries, and small shuttles equipped with binoculars that are perfect for wildlife sightings. You can even arrange for a wildlife tour with an airport drop-off after your cruise vacation. Another popular attraction near Port Canaveral is the Canaveral Lighthouse and Space Flight Tour. 
This Cape Canaveral lighthouse has stood on the Cape for over 150 years. On this tour, you'll be transported from the meeting point at the Exploration Tower to the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. There are several stops during this four hour tour, including the ability to climb the first five floors of the lighthouse. The visit at the lighthouse is approximately one hour where there'll be a semi-guided tour available. There's also a museum and of course a gift shop on site. Further, the tour visits space program museums with exhibits of Air Force launch vehicles and programs. You can even get to walk where the first US astronauts were launched into space. Given this tour takes place at the Air Force Station, reservations and pre-approved security clearance are required. In fact, a scheduled tour is the only way to visit these historic landmarks. If you're looking to get a whole new perspective of Port Canaveral, then a helicopter tour is a perfect option. There are a number of tours offered of varying lengths and prices that give you a bird's eye view of areas, including the port with all the cruise ships, the Canaveral Locks, Cocoa Beach, and the Thousand Islands. The classic tour is approximately 17 to 20 minutes of flight time for $99.99 per person. The option gives you the opportunity to see the port along with extended time over Cocoa Beach and the Thousand Islands. Here, you can often spot dolphins, sharks, stingrays, and more. If you're looking for something a bit different, Florida Air Tours also offers biplane rides. You can even add a little extra excitement with aerobatic upgrades. Either one of these options definitely makes for the perfect add-on to your cruise vacation. Another tour that allows you to get a unique perspective of the area from sea level is a bioluminescence tour. You've probably heard of the bioluminescent waters of Puerto Rico, but do you know that you can take a bioluminescent kayak or rafting tour right here in Florida? The Indian River and the Banana River lagoons both have glowing algae. BK Adventure offers nighttime kayak tours and raft tours to experience this natural beauty. These tours are approximately one and a half hours and are offered from a couple different departure points in the Port Canaveral area. Of course, if you'd rather explore the area's ecosystem during the day, you can do that too. The Manatee and Dolphin Kayak Tour is a popular eco-adventure. During this approximately 1.5 hour journey, we get to observe these sea mammals in their natural habitats. The Exploration Tower in Port Canaveral is an architectural landmark that offers several educational and interactive exhibits as well as observation decks with stunning views. While visiting this popular attraction, guests can learn a bit about Central Florida's history as well as the history of the port itself. The seventh floor is home to an outdoor observation deck that features panoramic views of Port Canaveral, the cruise ships, and surrounding beaches and wildlife. Currently, only the gift shop and outdoor observation decks are open. Nearby, Fish Lips and Rusty's are restaurants that are popular spots to watch the ships sail out of port while enjoying a drink and a bite to eat. Cocoa Beach is located just outside Port Canaveral and it's known for its sand and surf. It's also a popular pre-cruise hotel area due to the distance from the pier and the availability of amenities. Besides the obvious beach day, visitors can stroll the Westgate Cocoa Beach Pier that stretches 800 feet over the Atlantic Ocean. The boardwalk is lined with restaurants, bars, shops, and live music. There's also the Ron John Surf Shop, which is the largest surf shop in the world, with its own surf museum. If you're looking for a bit more excitement, Cocoa Beach offers a variety of water sport activities, as well as a nearby dinosaur store and museum. And there you have it, that's our look at the best things to do near Port Canaveral Cruise Port. But of course, we'd love to hear from you. Is there something missing from our list? Let us know in the comment section below what you like to do when you visit Port Canaveral. I'm DB from Eat Sleep Cruise, where we help you see the world one port at a time. And if you enjoyed this video, we have tons of other cruise reviews, cruise tips, and ship tour videos right here on the channel. If you're not sure where to start, why don't you take a look at our picks for the top 10 best cruises of 2022 including the brand new Disney Wish, which will be sailing from Port Canaveral, as well as ships from Royal Caribbean, Carnival Cruise Line, Norwegian Cruise Line, and more.